medicine can, spiritual medicine digest, and I'm whispering because um, if I talk too loud, I will likely cough. <laughs> so it's been a challenging week um, because I haven't been able to talk. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, talk well anyway. Um, and so I came back from San Diego, the Wellness Leadership Academy, and while in San Diego, there was an event that was very interesting, and literally we woke up, many of us woke up, polarity reversed, meaning that if you were to muscle test a yes, it would have been a no, and no would have been a yes. Meaning that our energy, like, um, direction is like opposite and in fact my poor mom before I even had a chance to check on her uh, whatsapped me and and said I just got out of bed I fell and hit my face and head on the end table and she had a big huge bruise on her leg I felt so bad <laughs> my poor mom um yeah so if you're reversed you could be brain foggy um, you could walk into things, uh, you could fall, like my mom did, be uncoordinated. Or in my case, um, symptoms might get worse. So if I was already, you know, recovering from like a sinus thing or my immune system was going from being on an airplane or whatever, that things, symptoms tend to get worse when you reverse. Now, why do we reverse? Well, there's two main reasons I found so far. One is a profound healing reaction, um, and that's like a temporary glitch, recalibration, you know, of your energy system. And the other is extreme stress. Now, in this case, um, once I was no longer reversed, um, I tested that it was a, a, a case of extreme stress, but it wasn't personal to me per se. It was within the entire of all of creation, um, which is very strange in a way, thinking about creation as like almost like a person. All of creation, we're part of it. So think about our microbiome that's in our gut. Okay, there's trillions of cells that are not us per se, our soul. They have their own energy systems, their own bodies, their own communities. They live within us, this whole organism. So think about the all of creation being like this whole organism. And we as humans are just one of the, who knows, multiple trillion, billion, whatever, you know, cells and people inside that organism. So that organism has its own flow, its own energetic system, its own emotional system. I mean, it's kind of interesting. If you've ever seen Men in Black, there's one where at the very, very end, they show how the earth is like, the Milky Way is like super, super tiny. And it's in like the marbles of like another species who's like gigantic species. So like the whole solar system or galaxy is like this big in a marble. And uh, I mean, it really makes you think, you know, but some of that has some element and truth in it. So, <clears throat> um, so the polarity reversal was due to extreme stress in the infiniverse. And you might have felt it. Uh, that was mid last week. And um, so I did a healing on myself and others. But in the meantime, before I could figure out things, I had to be polarity corrected so I could muscle test optimally. So I did find out that using the LifeWay patches that I have and I love and I sell, because I love them so much, phototherapy patches, there were uh, several patches that I could use to fix the polarity. So I, I actually created a brand new protocol. Thank you, universe. Um, a brand new protocol for people to use if their polarity reversed. So, um, so again, if your polarity reversed, that means a yes is a no and a no is a yes. So when you muscle test, it's the opposite. And you can have all sorts of backwards bad luck, all sorts of issues. So the patches that work for this, um, glutathione, the white patch and the ice wave, the white patch, and the energy enhancer patches, which both are the same by the way, um, or the Eon patch, the one for stress, those work the best. And where you put them is right over the belly button hole. So when I held um, the, the patch there, I wasn't reversed anymore. I could really muscle test. When the patch wasn't there, I 
couldn't do any of that. <laughs> so that was pretty interesting. The normal polarity tapping that I've taught in past videos didn't work for more than a few minutes. So I knew there was something else I was supposed to discover. The cool thing is when you're in stillness, when I can go into stoam, stillness through observing internal movement, that's when the ideas drop in and I love that how that happens because I'm like, I'm not conscious of the answer, so I'm going to be quiet and let's see what happens. So it got, gave me that incentive and inspiration to test the patches. So I found out this brand new protocol and, and the belly button point in Chinese medicine is kind of like a, an emergency point. So it makes sense why those only those patches work and not the others. Part of it is the electropositivity of those patches and just the frequency within them for whatever reason they seem to help with polarity reversals so yeah try it out see if that works for you um so luckily that uh, the whole world place universe infinite universe whatever uh being uh reversed didn't uh have too many well i shouldn't say it didn't have too many consequences i saw sirens and all sorts of stuff happening but um well, it, it didn't last as long as it could have, let's put it that way. So that part's good. <laughs> uh, so so um, this week has been interesting because, for me personally, because it has been really calling into question my ability to say no and do self-care. And I tend to love, you know, giving and love to, um, you know, do my thing, my magic and... And it's been really challenging because of not being able to talk for long. In fact, I'm probably going to be in a minute or two up to my limit. Um, so, And I'm trying to do Butego breathing, which is like breathing through the nose, which is really challenging. So, uh, yeah, so that means, you know, rescheduling clients, rescheduling trainings and classes, rescheduling my radio show, which, you know, hopefully you weren't too disappointed that um, we didn't get to talk to Clint Ober. Uh, we're gonna have to pre-record that show unfortunately unfortunately in the future but if you're a part of light warrior network uh, we are going to be putting a post up soon before the call to let you know um that if you have any questions for clint related to earthing and earthing related uh, <coughs> here we go grounding issues um we can ask it on your behalf so i'm still totally looking forward to interviewing him live oh my husband must be home the kitchen is loud um yeah so so it's definitely been challenging for me but you know life happens and I think for me it's a, a way to practice what I preach um talking about self-care talking about understanding that what's good for me is good for the whole um being able to receive uh compassion and compassion from um everyone including my students my clients my assistants you know um, yeah, this is the change of season and, um, did think to myself to actually do the five elements patching protocol for the change of season. Uh, note to self, maybe do that when I'm traveling, uh, cause traveling is extra stress on the physical body, but I actually loved, when, you know, traveling now, but, um, yeah, could be maybe supported better. <laughs> uh, so there's lots of things we learn and we're human and I'm human and we make mistakes and yeah. Am I being, you know, overly ambitious by, you know, going to San Diego, coming back, scheduling all this training, and then doing the uh, Light Warrior training camp next week at Omega. That's the other reason I want to save my voice. And then back, and then U Wealth Revolution in October, and then there's, I have a skating competition in October. Yeah, I'm probably a little nuts compared to most people. But you know what? I skate well even when I'm sick. Isn't that funny? So I gotta be thankful for that. Anyway, um, that's all I have for you. And next Monday's show is going to be a pre-recorded show with Taylor Conroy related to TEDx Talks. So if you are a coach, practitioner, or you have something important to say, this is a really great interview. I hope you really enjoy the first interview we did with Con uh, Taylor. And um, yeah, stay tuned for Monday at noon where we're going to talk about TEDx and why that's important and uh, how his company is able to get 100% success rate with people going on the TEDx stage. And I will be there hopefully in late to 2020. All right. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.